What's good, people? It's been a while. I haven't said shit. I've been writing, but haven't been saying much. I feel like I want to let one out, one that I feel needs to be heard. And I, um, I like it in its spoken word form, and probably going to get it on a beat eventually. But, um, yeah, just with the state of the world and people's mentalities and everything right now, it's it's pretty sad and disturbing and overwhelming. That's why we choose not to think about it much, because you can't go through life looking over your shoulder every two seconds. We ain't even on no battleground yet. Who knows? But you have to think that much. You've been lied to too much. Our parents, our grandparents, everybody's just lied to too much. So now it's causing conflict because nobody knows what to believe anymore. Everybody's conspiracy theorists, this, that. We're all going nuts in one way or another. But, um, just, you know, God bless us all, whether you believe in that or not, in religion. That's a whole nother thing. I'm going to stop blabbing right now. I'm just going to read this shit. It's called No Remorse. I think you'll get to just once it's done. The worst is yet to come. Cities transformed into disease-infested slums. Patrons catching bodies for crumbs. Contaminated vultures now allergic to the sun. Driven by fear with no direction to run. Witnessing death now appeared to be fun. Society's aiming for protection, but they've been stripped of their guns. Cops killing kids for reciting the words of big pun. Freedom of speech being swept under the rug. Adamant to justify why these young brothers are thugs. The uneducated feeding them them stereotypes they love. Trapped in hell for so long, we forgot that heaven was above. Fighting for something that never was. Unity doesn't just happen if we call one another cuz. Sometimes we hand a rope to those that just weren't meant to tug. A menace to society due to the carnage from heavy drugs. Mothers hung and strung along for profitable entertainment. They labeled black graffiti as blood-stained pavement. Allowed viruses to enter, forcing the people to accept containment. Lack of education forming a nation of racists. They felt threatened around anyone who appeared colored and courageous. Yet genocide never seemed to be too outrageous. We're still numbers off this new age slave list. From Maya Angelou to Angela Davis. How can our sisters forget or not care about the repercussions of their behaviors? America's home team seemingly should be the Raiders, pirating resources from foreign neighbors, from diamonds, oil to gold, quick to turn the countries into craters, then label themselves as the saviors, felt the presence of crooked cops and malicious mayors, defreading every last moral fiber layer by layer, chains will require much more than prayer, for religion also leaves that foul smell of blood in the air. Eyes glaring in despair, children lacking that unconditional care, was told faith would always be worth more than the time and effort it took to prepare. Nothing about killing the innocent is sincere. America where killing can become a long-lasting career. Sorry for your loss. Oh, and sign right here. No remorse.